right down. Just leaving a little something for the sitter.
I don't suppose those balls are yours, huh? Unless you swim in them. Or share them. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm here, Mom. I think I'm here. No, I already drove up to the wrong house once. There was a woman doing her lawn, so I figured that was definitely not the right house, so I wasn't going to embarrass myself by going in. Yeah. No, I found the key fine. It was exactly where they said it was going to be. Yeah. Well, it's probably a spare key under every mat in this neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wanted a place to feel safe, but... Feeling safe and being safe are two different things. No, I haven't seen Lotus yet. I haven't even seen the picture that I know of. to you. Now hold on a second. Lotus, come on, come on. Come on, Lotus. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a good girl, good girl. I, I found her, Mom. I'll call you back later. Bye. Hey, you're a good girl. Look at you, huh? Are you shy? Are you shy? Ah, oh, but you're a big girl. I'm going to be safe here with you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Lotus. You and me, bud. You and me. Quick and virtually silent. I hope it doesn't get clumsy, huh? Are you like bread? Yeah, I you like bread. Peanut butter? Mm. I can't give you peanut butter, puppy. If you're allergic. Like Jeff's. Uh, Jeff. Jeff's nephew is allergic to peanut butter. Let me tell you something, Lotus. Give you a piece of advice. Never ever move in with a guy after six weeks of knowing him. That's how you end up with a cheating psycho. And in my case, you had a violent temper as a bonus. And our dogs. But I guess it's okay with you, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. You're a good dog. So what does your mommy and daddy keep the glasses?
either I'm crazy or... I don't know what's weird, or talking to myself or talking to a dog. scraps <laughs> but not peanut butter right feed me at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. most importantly do not let me out after dark are you afraid of the dark puppy trusted. Jeff never trusted me. He hated it when I smoked in his house. His house. Never move in with a guy. But I already told you that, didn't I? <laughs> You're a good listener. Jerk. He knew I smoked when I met him. Just thought he could change me. He worked nights. Oof, worked. <laughs> what a joke. Little oh, puppy. I digress. He used to have a job. Yeah. I used to work every day. Leave at 7 a.m. Get home at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, like the average American working woman. And then the second I got home, he expected it. Freaking blowjob and a martini. Unbelievable. He 
was usually still in his underwear. Hadn't even taken a shower. Do you know what it's like to go down a guy who hasn't taken a shower? Go on, I'm asking. You probably go down on yourself in lieu of a shower, huh? So this slob has an hour before he has to go to work, right? And he wants his blowjob and his martini before he goes. This scumbag. You know, when I first met him, he was so nice. He was attentive. And then, bam, you move in with somebody, and you're a maid and a plaything. Sorry. I just get excited when I talk about the jerk. Anyway, most of the time he got his way, but so the second he was out the door, I wanted to smoke. I think it was like to get the taste in my mouth. I know it's disgusting to think the taste of tobacco would be better than the taste of him, but anyway, he hated the smell of smoke in his house. He hated it, as opposed to, uh, you know, old alcohol and dirty socks, of course. So, luckily, the weather in Florida is good, so you can go and smoke on the balcony most of the time. When it rained, I mean, he still got his blowjob and martini. What was I supposed to do? Get soaked just so I could have my cigarette? Anyway, one night it was raining, so I smoked in the house. I knew he'd be gone for hours. So the smell would have, you know, wafted away by then. When he came home, you could tell I was smoking. Boy, did that piss him off. <laughs> smoked in the house again, but he didn't believe me. I swore. <sighs> yeah, he never believed me. So I put smoke alarms in every room. So the whole apartment was like the bathroom in an airplane. There's nothing quite as comfortable as going at home. What the fuck is that?
Hey Cheryl. Hey, it's Maria. How you doing? Yeah, I was afraid you wouldn't pick up because of the different number. Yeah, it's a new phone. You, yeah, you can guess why. Yeah, I was just looking at that goofy rabbit shirt I bought at the horror convention. Oh my god. <laughs> only you, only you could get me to go to something like that. Yeah, we did have a good time. Cheryl, don't call me at home anymore. Because I don't live there. No, I just couldn't take it anymore. I was always either worrying or in the hospital. You know that. No, 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 no. I definitely couldn't come and stay with you, Cheryl. I appreciate it, though. Because it's one of the first places you look for me. And also, you should definitely keep an eye out for him. Because when his primitive brain wraps around the notion that I am not coming home, he's going to come look for me. No, I, I definitely think it's better if you don't know where I am. Because if he comes around, then he can't get mad if you don't know anything, right? I hope. Yeah. Okay, well, this is my number. So, put it in your phone, but don't put my name beside it. Put in a code word or something like that, okay? You promise? Are you spying on me? No. <laughs> no, I don't have a man here. Um, dog sitting. Mm, about 80 pounds. Yeah, I know. It's definitely the safest I've been in a long time. Yeah. That, uh, I'm not sure. Not much, actually. I think I'm just going to relax and read a new book. Yeah. I appreciate it. Okay, I'll, I'll call you later, all right? Thanks, Cheryl. Bye. Nothing like a new book, right, Bob? <laughs>
My mom sent you, didn't she? Um. <laughs> I can't believe it. Ma'am? I mean, you're awfully young to be a police officer. You're a stripper, aren't you? You're a stripper. What? My mom sent a stripper. What? I can't believe it. This no. is ridiculous. No, no, no. Everything I'm... looks so authentic. Wow, it looks good. Who's the guy in the car? Is your driver or you guys do a double act? No, I'm... <laughs> I mean, the gun, the gun looks so authentic. It's great. Does it really work? Am I not touching his weapon, miss? Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just thought he was very... Young. I know. He gets that a lot. Yeah, I do. The, uh, the young thing. Not the whole stripper thing. She thought you were a stripper? Cool. Well, no, I was just... I wasn't expecting the police. But you were expecting strippers? Got a point. No, it's... Uh, so why are you guys here? The Morans aren't even home. I know that. That's why we decided to check it out when we spotted your car in the driveway. So, um, what are you doing here? I'm dog-sitting. Dog-sitting? The Morans have a dog? Yeah, they sure do. A big one. Bob Moran never mentioned anything about a dog-sitting to me. Well, he apparently never mentioned anything about a dog, did he? Point taken. Excuse me. Seems to be no sign of forced entry. I'd say her story checks out. So she didn't break right through the front door. Big deal. There are doors and windows all over this house. Maybe she used the bump key. Don't you rookies ever read any of the bulletins? Who knows how she got in? Well, she does. That's right. I do. Key under the doormat? See, she knew where the key was. Oh, I realize that, right? There's keys under most of the doormats in this whole neighborhood. She knew which house was empty. He's right. Did you see the witch dog? Sure did. <clears throat> he big? She? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Immensely. <laughs> well, I'm going to take my partner's word for it. There's a big dog in there. I'm going to assume you're smart enough not to walk into a house with a big dog. Thank you. For now. As soon as I can, I'm going to make sure your story checks out. It'll check out. I'm sure it will, man. Have a good night. Sorry to have bothered you. Sure. She's hot. Hey, she wanted to see you, me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Sorry, Lotus. A little distracted. Okay. Oh, wow. Got dark really fast. Sorry, pup. My instructions were really clear not to let you out after dark. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I won't go out for my smoke either, okay? Okay? Hi, this is Bob Moran. We can't come to the phone right now, right so leave back? a message and we'll go back to you as soon as we can. Salesperson. Uh, uh, Hi, Ma. Did you just call the phone? Yeah, I knew it was you. Why don't you leave a message? Answer the phone because it isn't my house, Ma. Oh, you're making me crazy. You really are, Ma. I know that you know that I'm here. Okay? I don't want anybody else to know that I'm here. That's the whole point, right? So if you're gonna call the main number, leave a message. Can you do me that? Thank you. What news report? No, I haven't been watching the news. Why? What channels? All of the channels? Oh, yeah, I see. Where is this? Two miles from here? You mean there's a bear around here? I suppose we're safe with the fence out there. But I'm not supposed to let the dog out after dark anyway. Whoa! It's spooky how much this dog knows. I mean, I know all dogs know the word O U T, but, um. <laughs> no, Ma, I gotta go. The dog's having a fit. No, Ma, I don't mean fit as in seizure. I mean fit as in she really wants to go outside. I... Ma, I don't know why. They're your friends. I don't know why they don't let her go out after dark. It's their rules. They're crazy rules, not mine. Alright? Yes, Ma, exactly. They're afraid of the bears. Right. Ma, don't worry. This dog can give a bear a run for its money. Trust me. I'm fine. I'm safe. Okay? Love you, too. Bye-bye. <sighs> oh, what are you looking upset about? At least you don't have a mom driving you nuts in your hideout. Come <clears throat> oh, Pop. Looks like you got plenty of food and water for the night. I'm sorry you can't go out. I'm going to take you out extra early in the morning, okay? I'm going to go upstairs and read my book. Go early tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a really good day. I promise. You guard the house, okay? Okay, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Jeff would be crazy to try to get in here with you, right, Pop? Good night, honey. You good?
girl. Come in. Okay, Lotus. Okay. Good girl. This better be good. Lotus. Lotus. You silly dog. Let's just let my phone on vibrate. <coughs> What's my mom calling at midnight for? Hi, Ma. Want his bear closer now? Cheryl? What are you doing at my mom's house at midnight? Cheryl, calm down. I. Calm down, I can't understand you. What is going on? He did come over. Did he hurt you? What do you mean, not bad? Oh my god, did you call the police? What do you mean you called me first? Why didn't you call the police? You took your phone. I knew you would, bastard. Did you put my name by the number? Oh, it's a new phone, same number, but you've only five numbers saved. Great. Don't, Cheryl, it's not your fault. Don't worry, okay? I swear to God, don't worry. I'll be fine. Please, just call the police now, okay? Tell Ma to call the police. Oh, God. Hi, Ma. How is she? Is your hair bad? How bad is the eye? Jesus Christ. Why hasn't anybody called the police yet? What was it, Dad, that I heard? Yes, that is a good idea, Ma. Go over to Dad's house. See, there was some advantage to getting a divorce, right? Yeah, Jeff knows where Dad lives. But he also knows he has a rifle. He's stupid, but he's not brave, that's for sure. No, I'll be fine, Ma. I really will. Lotus just got me out of the bath to tell me my phone was vibrating. I don't think anybody's getting in this house. I know. I will. Yes, Ma. You'll be safe too, okay? And call the police now!
what the hell. I shouldn't smoke. So if you're not afraid of the dark, I'm not gonna treat you like you are. I never should have let that dog out after dark. I mean, hey, you had no way of knowing. I mean, this sort of thing is very rare. Black bears around here normally run from dogs. And from what James tells me about the Moran's dog, she's pretty big. Her bark alone should have been enough to scare the bear away from the fence. So you think it was a bear? We found the prints and sketches on the other side of the fence. What about the blood? Can't be sure, but it's probably the dogs. I mean, hey, it could be the bears. I mean, he could have cut himself while he was tearing through the fence. Sure. We didn't find a body. Ma probably got scared by the bear and ran yeah. off. You guys really think that? You really do? You really think so? It's bullshit, guys. These people trusted me with their home. They trusted me with their pets. And I let them down, okay? And now look. They trusted me, and I completely fucked up. I was supposed to do one thing, and I totally fucked up. Now what am I supposed to tell them? I'll take care of it. As soon as I get in touch with them. You mean you haven't gotten in touch with them yet? I thought you were checking up on me. They weren't in at their hotel. I think we can trust you now. No many burglars dial 911 and ask for the cops to come to the house. I managed to rig the fence panel back up in the back. It ain't pretty, but it'll hold for a while. That's my direct number. Call us if you need anything. Or if I find Lotus? Yes. Let us know if she comes home. I will. That dog's gonna come back. No, probably carried off dead by now. Wouldn't have there been more blood? 
probably soaked up before I even got there. Yeah, it's too bad. She's a nice lady. She's gonna feel pretty bad about this. We got problems of our own now. There's a bear out there that graduated from stealing garbage to killing pets. Yeah, and it's aggressive enough to tear down a wooden fence to get to its prey. And it considered a 90-pound dog, which you yourself said was fairly fierce, prey. Not to let her out after dark, and I didn't follow it. So, what do I do? Uh, no, the, the police said that they're going to tell the Marantz. No, that there was no body. No, there was, there was not a lot of blood. What should I do? Should I stay here? Or... Oh, you're right. The house is still my responsibility. Yeah. I know. Oh, maybe the dog ran off. Yeah. Uh, I should be here anyway in case she did run off. She comes back, she needs someone to let her in. Hi, this is Maria, Maria Langosi. You were here earlier about my dog. I just wanted to let you know that I found a paw print in the front lawn. Um, I should probably go look for the dog right now, but I thought it was important enough for you to know, so uh, call me back when you can. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Good news. I think the dog is okay. No, no, she didn't come home, but I found this muddy paw print in the front. 
in the front yard. I mean, it was just outside of the yard, so I think she made... No, Mom, what it means is the bear didn't kill the dog and drag it away. I mean, the dog could be hurt, but it, it was probably not dead. No. No, it didn't rain last night. I guess the blood is what made the mud. But it doesn't mean the dog is hurt bad. Did you call the cops? Good, what'd they say? Hold on a second, I have, um, call, wait, I'll call you back, Mom. Hello, Moran residence, may I help you? Oh, hi, um, uh, Al, thanks, Al. Um, look, I, I feel, uh, a little silly about the call before now, but, um, I just thought you should know I was, no, I, actually, that makes me feel a lot better, thank you. Oh, can you hold on just a second? There's somebody at the door. Oh, hi. Come on in. It was very quick. Uh, I didn't expect a personal call over a paw print. Where's your partner? Uh, just checking into some files for me. Okay, come on in. Can I get you something to drink? Or? No, I'm all right. Oh, come on in. Have a seat. Thanks. Listen. I'm not here about the dog. Did the Moran's call? No. The call I got was from your mother's local police department. What? I was just on the phone with her. Your mother's fine. They called us to clue us in on the incident with your boyfriend. When your mother reported the unwelcome visit, they asked what his motive was and your name came up. When they found out you were avoiding him by staying here, they called up my department to let us know. I really wish they hadn't done that. Why? You got something against cops? No, no, it's... I'm just not wild about people knowing my personal problems or mistakes. I'm embarrassed enough about the dog. Is this her? Seems sort of familiar, but I never met a dog here. How well do you know the Morans? Well, just since I moved into the neighborhood. I live about five miles away. Bob's wife takes care of my cat. A cat? Mm-hmm. Well, she's a vet. You know that. No, actually. I don't know the Morans at all. Is this a confession? No. No, that's not what I meant. So you knew Bob and Mark? No, see, my mother knows the Morans. That's how I got the job here, dog sitting. Uh, to get you away from your boyfriend. Can we just call him Jeff? Sorry, I read the report. Sounds like a real piece of work. Let me tell you something. What he did last night, that's nothing for him. Well, you're safe here. I'm assuming your mother chose the Morans because Jeff, Jeff doesn't know them. Yeah, he's never even heard of them. Even if he did, you're safe here. I would have felt safer with Lotus, though. She looks pretty docile. Yeah. She's very sweet, but she was big. I don't think that coward Jeff would have the balls to come near this house with Lotus here. Well, dogs are a decent deterrent, but you have every cop in town looking out for him. Your mother gave us his information, and he has a record. So we're able to print this picture and post it all over town. Are you sure you wouldn't like a drink? No, I'm all right. I just came here to check up on you. Besides, I don't even know where to look. Mm -hmm. And I'll keep an eye out for Lotus, too. Thank you. And stay out of that yard after dark. Why? Well, if the bear did feed, he may be back. I see. Well, thank you. I'm sure I'll be fine. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry.
guess from the time of day. Yes. No matches again. It's wrong. I'm not going to call the cops again. Hmm. I guess a murder mystery is not the best thing for me to be reading right now. I wonder what they have. Take a murder mystery over a living dead animal book any day. Oh.
Hi. Is everything okay? Uh, um, ma'am, that bear's attacked someone else. <gasps> Are they okay? I mean, was it around here? Were they hurt badly? Yes, ma'am. A young man was killed just a few miles from here. Well, Al, your partner was by and he told me not to go out after dark, so you don't have to worry. No, it's not that. Um, we found this next to the body. Does it belong to your dog? Um, well, does it belong to the Morn's dog? So sorry. Um, we believe that the bear had it stuck in its so Well, that it was stuck in its teeth. Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'll be all right. You sure you'll be okay? Yeah. I mean, we kind of figured this anyway, right? Yeah, but um, hey, hey, it is still possible she got away, and she just lost the collar in the struggle. I mean, no one's found her body. Well, no one's even seen the bear yet, so. I appreciate that. Yes, ma'am. that one down at the office.
was messaging me this time of night. Escape that bear is one thing, but to have dealt with that lunatic and his knife? Yeah. That's what dogs are for. Take care of us. Yeah. 
She's an extraordinary animal. Yeah? I can't believe Bob never mentioned her. I might go check on my Parker's ambulance. Mm. Do you think he's gonna be okay? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Rookies are like babies. Their heads aren't formed yet, so they just bounce right back. Whatever you say. You gotta be hungry, huh? What have you been eating, huh? What have you been eating, huh? Come on, eat. My, we're glad you came back, Pop. And not just because of Jeff, either. What did I tell the Marines, huh? They miss you, huh? Good girl. But you're never going out after dark again, Pop. Never. There's that evil bear, Pop. The rogue bear was exonerated of the attack when a witness came forward and stated a dog had in fact killed the man. The witness further explained that the man police found dead was attempting to molest her, and she considers the canine responsible a hero. Police, however, warn that the dog is dangerous and will be found and destroyed. Tags on, huh, girl?
girl. Maria, I'm a friend of yours. I'm your friend, girl. <laughs> Lotus, calm down. Girl, I'm your friend. It's me, Maria. <laughs> James checked some files for me. Did you say that dog you're watching is named Lotus? Anyway, I knew there was something familiar about that photo. The Morans actually reported that a dog of theirs named Lotus had been poisoned by some sicko neighbor. The photo looks just like the one you showed me. Strange that they would get an identical dog with the same name. Maybe you'd better erase this message before the Morans hear it. Lotus, Lotus, sweetheart, listen, I understand now, girl, it's okay, you're just remembering what those awful people did to you, just calm down, girl, Lotus, I read about the moon madness, why I wasn't supposed to let you out after dark. Because it, it reminds you of your condition, girl. That's why you bring people over to your side so you're not alone. It's okay. You haven't killed anybody so far. At least anybody that's gonna be missed. That I think of. Okay. Quick, quick, girl. So you understand me then. Easy girl, easy! Don't you dare ask to go out after dark again!